Let us now start with creating a React app and understanding the file structure. Along with that, whatever files we are going to create in this project, we will be creating all the files. So once we start with writing the code, we are going to have all the files with us. So here I have created one folder react quiz app. Accordingly, you can give any name. Right click open with code. I am just going to open my editor. I will close this. Now here inside this, I am having this folder open. Now I am going to open my terminal shortcut control J. And inside this, I will be writing the command to install react app. So here I will write npx create hyphen react hyphen app. And after this, we have to give our app name. So here I will write react quiz. Do not give in capital letters, only use lowercase letters. Now I will hit enter. Now it is going to install all the packages which is required to run our react application. Now you can see our folder react quiz is created. And inside that I am having package.json and accordingly once entire packages are installed I will be having my complete structure. So it will take some time. I am just going to forward this video. So now all the packages are installed and also my React app is ready. So first step what we have to do, we have to come inside our React app. So for that we have to use this command. So here I will write cd. I just want to change my directory space and here I will write react quiz. Hit enter. Now next what I have to do, I have to run this application by using this npm start. So here I will write npm start. Hit enter. Now it is going to start my development server and my react app will be started and by default it will be running in port 3000 and this is my default react app and when I click on this I will be redirected to official documentation of react. Let me click. You can see this is the official documentation of React. If you get stuck at any point, you can refer this documentation. I will close. I will close this terminal. If you close, then also no issues. Our React app will be running. So now, first, let us clean our file structure. Inside this public folder, I only want this index.html. Rest all the files I am going to delete. I will select this. Use control to select multiple files. Right click and delete. All the files will be deleted. Come here and inside this index.html, I will be changing this title. I will give here the React Quiz Room. Save. Now you can see here our title is changed to React Quiz Room. I will close this file. Now I do not want this git ignore as well as I do not want this package log.json. I am just going to delete. But I need this package.json because whatever packages we are going to install, all the dependencies will be present inside this file. Now I will come to src folder. I do not want this file index.css. I do not want this. All these files I will be selecting. Right click and delete. I will be pasting my own styling. I will select remove entire code. Come to app.js. From here, I will remove entire thing. Instead, I am just going to do default export. Here, I will write function app. And inside this, I will be writing return. Then, simply, I am just going to write hello. Now I will come inside index.js. From here, I will remove this import as well as I am just going to remove this import. Then from here, I will clean entire thing. 
Now you can see here hello is displayed. Why? Because inside app.jss I have only printed hello. Inside app.jss I have only given this hello and rest entire thing we have cleaned. I will close all the files. Now what I want, I am just going to create the files which are important for our project. So inside src, I will be creating one folder. I will give the folder name as components. You can directly create all the files inside src folder. But to give proper structure, we are simply creating one folder components. Inside this, I will write header. Header.js first file. Second, I will be writing quiz main.js. Then I am going to create question.js. Then I will be creating option.js. Then for loading, I will be creating loading.js. Then for error, I will be writing error.js. Then for next button, I will be creating one more file next button.js. And finally, for last screen, I am going to create one more file that is in quiz.js. So in total, I have created 8 files and accordingly, I have to render this different components based on user action. So before starting with our code, first make sure you have created all the files so that you can follow me in this tutorial. Now I am just going to open app.css and inside this, I will be pasting entire styling. Accordingly, you can give your own stylings.